Now, 400,000 sufferers in this country, that's the most common complaints here in Ireland. A new treatment which reduces the need for the use of anti-inflammatory drugs has been launched. The treatment today is the need for joint replacement or surgery. Here to tell us more is Dr. Robert J. Petrella. Thank you for joining us, doctor. Any sort of breakthrough on this front is to be welcomed because there are a vast number of sufferers in the country. It's dreadfully painful and uh, it's long term as well, which doesn't help matters. Not good things, no. Uh, one thing we do know is that the population at risk is increasing. Someone told me it's about 20% in Ireland have osteoarthritis, but most patients don't go to their doctor with it, so it's probably much higher than that. They just carry on with the pain and somebody with the pain. They buy copper bangles and they buy all sorts of things to try A and lot of things it. to try and use it, but we don't have good therapies, and I think that's the bottom line. And here's a new therapy that we can consider. Well, what causes it? And what is it? How does it, how does it, how does it manifest itself and, 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 and how does it linger? Why does it linger? Well, a lot of osteoarthritis actually develops very early on, either through our occupations or perhaps in sport. So we become uh, more prone to injury, and with injury and with time, we develop uh, poor joints in terms of function and eventually pain. And with time as well, the end result of that, at the end of the road, might be a replaced joint. But in this country, most patients are going to be waiting for a replaced joint even greater than two years. So that's not acceptable. It's not really not. It's pretty, no. it's pretty well, I guess some of the figures actually, it occurs mostly where on the, the knees, hands. Yeah, and these hands are, are most important uh, in terms of what we see, but oftentimes we as physicians don't ask patients whether they have pain in perhaps their back or neck. So a lot of these patients need to be probed and to be uh, told that there are treatments that are available for them. Now, speaking of the treatments, obviously this, this is a breakthrough treatment. What is it and how does it work and how does it differ? Well, within the joint we have a fluid called synovial fluid. That fluid acts as a shock absor absorption for any impact that you might have. So in sport, for instance, if you're playing a high-impact sport, you need to have that material in the joint optimally functional. What happens with osteoarthritis is this material breaks down. What we're offering with this new therapy is a way of introducing or reintroducing or supplementing the fluid to allow it to act more normally and to absorb shock and allow people to do things that they couldn't do before with less pain. Okay, and how is it administered? This is an injectable therapy. The material is injected through a needle and syringe into the joint. It's a fairly simple procedure, but it's a procedure that you need to be trained to do. So it's, it's somewhat restricted at the present time, and my being here is actually partly to help physicians become more aware of it, patients too, but also to give them some training in terms of how they might administer it in their own practice. 